Hello YouTube, I am back again and I just wanted to show you how to make your own uh, project box amplifier. Uh, that way you can test speakers or just keep it out for some speakers that you already have that you want to get some power for. First thing you're going to want is a project box. This one is an aluminum project bo box which I got from Amazon. It also came with some screws, of course, to screw that in. And you're going to need four binding posts. Uh, these I also got off Amazon. Uh, I'll leave all the links to all these parts in the description if you want to build this exact same amplifier. This is pretty cool. This is a potentiometer. And the great thing about this potentiometer is it is a switched potentiometer. So if you hear that click, that actually turns the amplifier on and off as well. And so that's pretty cool. That way we don't need a power switch. This will do the power all by itself. So once we turn it all the way down and click it off, it shuts off. I also got a little plug, a 3.5 millimeter jack, and that will go on the back. And there's a power plug, which is a 2.5 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter power jack. <clears throat> You're also going to need an amplifier. This is a Shure uh, 2x50 watt amplifier. One thing you will notice about this amplifier is there are no terminal connections that used to be there. Um, I desoldered those already. That is something you're going to want to do. Um, and you'll see why as we start building it. But yeah, you'll need to desolder all of those connections or buy a board without them soldered on already. Uh, the great thing is this board fits perfectly within this box. It does take a little bit of wiggle. You, you do have to uh, push it a little, but it, but it works good. The only other things that you may want for after you're done building it is a power supply. Uh, this power supply oops, is a 19 volt by 4.74 amp um, that just fits within the specs of what I am going to be using. And then you would also want uh, some type of cable to hook it up, like a 3.5 millimeter cable. Alright guys, uh, that's all the parts you're going to need for this build. The next thing you're going to see is the setup and how we get started to build this. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm back again. I just wanted to show you what we are going to do and how to uh, prep for making this amplifier. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is check the orientation of the board. And what I mean by that is this board can obviously fit in this box um, this way or this way. Now you want to take a couple things into consideration. For example, the potentiometer. Uh, the potentiometer has a couple things that are on it. One, we showed you that there's a power switch on it, and so it's going to be, you're going to want it kind of near power. And it's also going to eventually need to go into channel one and two on this board. And so I'm going to make this the front of the amplifier box or where the potentiometer is, so I don't have to run cables nearly as far on this side. Uh, that means that this is going to be on the rear, and the reason why this is going to be on the rear is twofold. One, all of these are also going to be on the rear, and these are the speaker terminals, and these are the speaker terminals right here. And so it only makes sense to make that the rear. Now after you've figured out which way you want to orient the board, which is important, we are going to decide how we're going to fit these on the back panel. You need to pay attention to where this board will be once it's in the box. And so mine was just under a half inch. And so that means I cannot have anything underneath a half inch because if it touches, then it'll hit the board. And so I decided the orientation of these up above and there's, and so that's gonna be the back plate. The front plate's gonna be a little simpler. Uh, the front plate, we just know that we just need to be a half inch uh, up and left and right really doesn't necessarily matter. I could stick it directly in the center, or, but I don't want to do that once again because the amplifier has uh, my hookups right in the center. Now, they are going to go directly to there, so I could, but I think I'm going to go ahead and offset it. It just makes it a little nicer and neater, and if you wanted to spray paint something on here, like a logo or something, you could do that. So that's basically how we're going to set it up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes. Now each one of these um, is going to be one quarter inch holes. The same with the uh, input jack, that's going to be one quarter inch hole. The only one that's different is the power jack. The power jack is going to be a 5 16 inch hole. And uh, we do want to cut those. Now 
one thing you are going to want to take into note, at least with this one, if you take a look at this, they do have beveled edges right here for your screws and none on the back. And so this is your front plate, okay? And this is the back, so when it goes on, it's going to go like this. The reason why I say that is you're going to want to cut drill into this side. And the reason why you're going to want to drill into this side is because sometimes you get splintering that goes out. Uh, you don't want splintering that goes out, obviously, towards the, the part that's going to be showing. So drill this way. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. And we will step on to the next step in a few minutes. All right, guys, it is all completed. This is completely finished. And Okay guys, we have these uh, pretty much all together. You notice that this is now on. It needs to be tightened, but it's on. Um, and now we just need to start hooking this up. So, there's a couple straightforward things. Uh, speaker wire, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna solder the negative and positive to the negative and positive on each side. Now, where it gets tricky is the power and of course the input. The power is going to be over here, and we're going to show you this. The power is going to go, the power positive, the positive of the power terminals, going to go onto, into here, and then out of here, into the actual power source on the board. And that's because this is a potentiometer with a switch on it, so it will turn the amp on and off. Uh, the ground to that's going to go directly to the power source on the board. I'm sorry, the power input on the board, which is right here. Now, the 3.5 millimeter jack is going to be a little bit different. Let me kind of show you this potentiometer, but I'm going to show you a different one. Uh, when you're looking at it, you will notice that this has eight terminals. Two are for the positive power, which I already told you. And then there's these three on the side. The top is for the right speaker. The bottom is for the left speaker. So if we're looking at our amplifier, this is going to be our right side. This is going to be our left side. And if we read on the board, it says channel 1 is our right side. Channel 2 is our left side. With that being the case, channel 1 is going to be hooked up up here. And channel 2 is going to be hooked up here. A ground is going to go to the very first terminal on each one of these. So there will be a ground from here to here and a ground from here to onto the board ground here. Now, the next two are gonna go to your amplifier. So these two will go to the channel one and channel two respectively. And these two come from the input, which our input of course is at 3.5 millimeter. So they're gonna go here respectively, channel one and channel two. Now. Mine actually says channel 1 and channel 2 on it, my 3.5 millimeter jack. If yours does not, you'll just have to, uh, I guess, make an educated guess on which one is channel 1 or channel 2. All right, guys, that is it for now. Now I'm going to go ahead and get soldered. This is the positive wire that is connected to the power. We're just going to run that underneath. And we are going to solder it right onto here. All right, so now we're going to solder it onto here. And then we're going to run it to our VCC on our board. All I finished doing was uh, running the positive lead into the potentiometer and out of the potentiometer on, into the board where it says VCC. Now, I have a little wire that I'm going to run for ground. I'm going to run it here and to the middle prong with now we have our power connected so let's test it now we will go ahead and start connecting the inputs so the first two wires we're going to run are the right and left positives and they're going to be in the center pin here um, and those are going to go directly to the amplifier so the first thing to do is to trim these up i'll trim these up quite considerably leave leave some extra excess on there and then start working on these. All right, I'm now getting ready to solder uh, these two 
the 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm going to solder three wires. I kept the two speaker wires together. Um, they go to channel one and channel two. Channel one is going to be our right channel, and that's going to be our, indicated by our gray wire. And so we're going to go ahead and solder that. All right. And we also have to solder a ground, which we'll just use another black wire. That's the reason why we kept these two together. I did uh, measure it on the amplifier. That's about the right length. I'll cut the other two down once I once I get to this wired. So, so let's uh, just go ahead and put the ground in there. All right, and let's take this over and run these wires under the board now we just have to connect our grounds to the potentiometer and the, the pot will be finished so as you can see we went ahead and finished the grounds uh, we wired one ground from here to here and then we wired another ground which will connect to this we will jump it to these two ports uh, first thing to do is to hook up channel one channel one is right hand side and that's this gray one that we have hooked up which is in the very front and we'll go ahead and hook that up now the final step is to now do the speaker wire in which you're going to want to push the board to the other side and out the other side so that you can solder those on. And you can, if you want to, just take this off um, and make it probably a little easier for you to solder. So I went ahead and took this off. Um, what you're going to want to do is, if you notice on the board, it's got a positive and a negative, a positive and a negative. Just run those to the corresponding speaker, red being positive, black being negative. And of course, channel this side of the board is going to the left, and this side of the board is going to the right. All right, now you can see all the wires are soldered on. One thing I'd really like to uh, show you real quick is this is where the grounds are connected on the potentiometer. Uh, you do want to run a a wire that crosses the two and solder it to the two grounds in order to make sure that everything's hooked up right. I forgot to show you that. Yeah? What else you want to say? <laughs> anyway, I forgot to show you that, so I wanted to make sure that you did that. So if there's something going wrong with your amplifier, it's just because you don't have those two grounds crossed. Um, all I did is take a small piece of wire, I stripped it, as small as like a piece like this, stripped it on both ends and solder it to both sides and everything will be work fine. Now, let's just put it together and test it out. All right guys, before I put this all the way back together, I just wanted to show you what this looks like on the inside. And so there it is. That is the internals of everything and now you just need to put the rest of the damp back together. But, I mean, it really is nice and compact. You got a lot of breathing room. Honestly, once we put this on, that's Oh, silly. Hi, bud. You got yourself a really nice amp. So I'm going to finish putting it back together, but that's what the internals look like.